Okay, so we'll walk around this uh, Land Rover Series 1, 86 inch. I think from memory this is a 1954 car, but I'll have to check that. Um, could be 1956, can't remember. Um, finished in green, and it's an 86 inch soft top with its original 2 litre petrol engine. Now, uh, we sold this earlier, earlier this year to a gin distillery who've used it all summer for promotional um, reasons. You might have seen it at Cows or Ascot, all sorts of things, uh, with a bar in the back. Um, but she's now come back to us because uh, they've bought a beard more taxi instead. Um, but this has fulfilled everything that's, that it was asked of it, apparently. Um, trundled up and down the country, not been on a trailer, just um, bumbled everywhere and done the job. I know we spent a lot of money getting it right when we sold it earlier this year um, for the owners, including a full service and uh, an all new ignition system, what have you. But um, the chap we originally uh, bought it from late in 2012 had fully restored it. Done a nice job. Um, it's got three wheel front hubs that can ring. Um, it's got a, I think it's got a matching set of Goodyear's on it. Goodyear, Goodyear. Goodyear. Yep, Goodyear's all round. Uh, they look like 750 by 16 militaries. Can't see a size on them, they look like 750 by 16 militaries. Yes, yeah, 750 by 16 military tyres, which obviously are a little bit noisy. Um, it's also got a uh, nice new tilt with windows in the side uh, and it's also got tow pack on it with electrics. Um, otherwise, you know, com oh, three wheel front hubs as well. Otherwise a completely standard uh, Series 1. Uh, so with its original 2 litre engine. It's also got a fan, a Kenlo electric fan in the front of it. Panel work wise, it's beautifully straight. I think these wings are probably the original originals, but they, uh, there's one or two sort of minor um, waves in them. But... Uh, it's not a horrid dented mess the way that some of them are these days. The only fault I can find is just a little nick out of the front panel there just by the, um, the near side front number plate. Just a bit of a nick in the aluminium. But otherwise all this is nice. Both sides. It's been sprayed by the look of it rather than, um, rather than brushed or rollered. Slightly orange peely finish but not bad for all that. Um, beautifully straight again down the near side. Up around the bulkhead and scuttle, it looks superb. Around there and down the A post. Passenger door looks splendid. Looking inside here, up in the footwell, all looks excellent. Up in the bottom of the bulkhead there and the A post, all very good indeed. Doors are fine. Interior wise, um, all the front seats are all pretty new actually. In fact, the rear ones are as well. The rear ones were taken out, they do match these. Uh, they're in the back of the vehicle in a minute. We will put them back in if you want them, um, but they were taken out because the service uses a mobile bar, uh, but they're in the back of the vehicle there at the moment. Um, all the instruments will work properly, including it's got an auxiliary temperature gauge on it. Uh, what else? So tilt is pretty much new. It looks excellent all around and under there. Looks like it's had a rear quarter chassis on it. All around the tail end, it's very good indeed. And again, down the offside, first class. Yeah, it's had a rear quarter chassis. Um, but the rest of the chassis looks to be superb. Um, that's all good there. Again, scuttle corner and A-post, first class. Um, driver's door spot on footwell and bottom of bulkhead exactly as they should be looks like it's had a repair section let in there um, but no oh, cracking machine really really nice uh, series one this one and so still running its original two litre engine which uh, was fully fettled by us earlier this year um, that's about it i think my name's simon you can reach me uh, in the office on 0118-907-1495 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further info. We take part exchanges, we take Visa and MasterCard, credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards and we can have it shipped or delivered any way you like in the world, obviously the cost. That's about it. End.